Okay, so I got tired of doing the Crixus. I, I, I came up with like 20 different iterations of it and I just couldn't make it quite work the way I wanted it to. And then I realized that they're gonna be changing the aerodynamics here shortly uh, on the base game anyways, and I'll be using that instead of Ferrum Aerospace. So why waste my time making an aircraft that may or may not fly properly come the next patch? So I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna send a rocket up it's not just any rocket, it's got a special payload, but we'll see that in a few minutes. I mean, it's using a lot of our money, and that's what we need, uh, you know, most of, but uh, doing this mission will allow us to put a, a communitron on the telescope, which will allow us to transmit data back, and we'll be able to make more money out of it. So it's an investment, we're investing into it. So let's, let's launch this sucker, I've tested it, I know it works. Uh, and we're doing our rendezvous without mech jib. Previously, I've I've said that you know all my rendezvous and docking and everything will be done with mech jib just because it's a lot easier and it, it is and it saves me a lot of time. But this time I don't have mech jib installed on either of these crafts, so we're going in blind. We have Bill and Jebediah with us. We really need to start getting them XP, but we need to start completing missions in order to do that. And in most cases, uh, the the way you do that is. You know, you like go to the moon and you collect the science data and then you bring them back and then they get their XP. This probably won't get them any XP. Uh, and if it does, it'll be very, very little. So we're going to do our best to, you know, bring them back in one piece. And I don't really see a problem with that. I have an escape system, uh, an abort system underneath this fairing. But it's not the one that we want to use for rockets just yet. However, it is a really good one because it's been tested in the past and I know it works. So we're using that. Uh, yeah, this, this is actually technically a single stage to orbit because I'm only using one stage to get us into orbit and uh, have a, you know, a reasonably good orbit as well. Not just like a, a pitiful like 70,000 meter uh orbit which is what we usually go for so this thing will work really well let's stabilize the sucker though it's it's getting a little out of hand as you can see our speed is already picking up to an absurd amount i'm gonna open up my map real quick and uh we're just gonna watch this grow like it does we'll get it to about a hundred thousand because uh, that's, you know, close to where the, the orbit of this is. And we have to match planes and all of that fun stuff with this as well. So we'll be able to do that all without mech jab. And like I said, I tested it and it totally works. So that's good enough. All right, cool. We're actually going quite, quite quickly. Uh, you know what? I need a little bit of engine going on here. Just a little bit. Let's open this up to see my fuel but I need to be able to point the correct direction here. How high are we? We're at 70,000 already, jeez. Uh, and that is still growing. I don't need it anymore. Come on, come on, thing. And cut, okay. Speed it up. And now we're just going to get our orbit. That could have been done a lot better, but in, when I tested this thing to make sure it worked, what happened was I, if I started going too acute of an angle uh, on my trying to get my orbit, you know, like going more on the horizon rather than just vertical, it just flip, flipped out because of the atmosphere. It's very top heavy, uh, surprisingly, despite the fact that the fuel tank should and probably do way more than the payload, the payload just is a little wonky, so it it gets a little weird. Uh, we are gonna have plenty of fuel though, which is perfect. And our craft underneath has plenty of fuel. Boom, okay, so what we want to do here is we actually wanna be uh, starting to get this proper. So add maneuver, actually, because it's so weird, probably need to do it from like there, add maneuver. And we want to get our... It's... I mean, it's pretty close, actually. Kind of hard to tell. There's a lot of lines going on right now. I could probably do it from this side, too. Which is probably better, because it's coming up quicker. So let's... 
Um, kill that maneuver node. We'll do it from over here and maneuver. Oh, by the way. The sun is now blinding me. Okay, that's pretty close. So where do I know? I'm gonna turn RCS on. We do have some RCS underneath this and we need to be pointing towards our maneuver node, which is up. Which actually makes sense because that's the, that's the direction of which the node, you know, d does the plane change. Once we do that, what we'll do is we need to get within the inside of the orbit of the satellite uh, or the, the outside, the outside of the orbit with the satellite and then it, we will be able to catch up or have it catch up to us. So it's not far off already. In fact, holy cow, this thing is, we got really close to this set as target. Let's, let's make our plane change first and then we will work on getting our rendezvous. Two minutes, one minute, 30 seconds. Okay, speed up just a little bit. Cool, let's flip this around. Ugh. Okay, that's quite close. Uh, no, I'm, what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna need to bring my periapsis out a bit. Actually, in general, I need to edit my entire orbit, basically. So if I did like a maneuver there, if I pulled it out this way, that would get me a lot more on course. So let's, you know, we, we've got plenty of fuel here. This is just that one stage that we're at. We haven't even opened up our fairings yet. And that will be a little bit of a surprise when we do, but I'm saving it. I'm saving it because it's, uh, you know, it's like Christmas, right? You don't want to unwrap your, your present before Christmas. It's not time yet. It's not time. Uh, we could be using the fuel of that thing and it's a lot more maneuverable because there's a lot less mass, but it's not, it's not time yet. It's not time. And... Speed up. Okay, a little bit more down and cut the engines. Perfect. Now, where's that? That is uh, behind us. So, what we can do is I'm actually gonna get to the apoapsis and go like this. See, see the intersect there? So that's at 40,000 kilometers apart from each other, which in space is pretty good, right? Uh, yeah, let's do that. So we're gonna speed up time. And it's at this point that, no, it's at my apoapsis and I'm gonna get rid of this thing. Or maybe I should get rid of it now. I should get rid of this now, yeah. Okay, we're gonna get rid of the fairings because we don't want to be running into them. So here we go, let's see. Fairings released. Oh, what's this? We had an aircraft under there the entire time. Uh, there might be an explosion last time I tried this. That's cool, our engines are still working. We got this, uh, we can rotate it. We can point to our maneuver node. Oh, we can turn our lights on. Woo, back, no, other way. Ugh. There we go. <clears throat> and we will accelerate away from all of this, which is really, really nice. Uh, we need to engage the engines. We need to toggle these to close cycle. And let's go. See you later. Peace out. All right, let's look at our maneuver. Boom. Okay, now what I need to do is, well, I pretty much need to get there. So add maneuver. And I'm gonna just make small adjustments because we wanna get as close as possible. So if I slow down, it looks like that's getting closer. Boom, okay. That is pretty good. What's the intersect on that one? That one's much further away. So, 
yeah, that'll be perfect. Okay, cool. And that's only a six meter a second change. So we're gonna speed up. We're gonna go way ahead of our debris, which will be perfect. This is, I think this is the first time in Project Destiny that I've done a, a rendezvous. So this is a little interesting. Ah, oh, I may have missed that by a little bit. But we're still good. Kinda. Crap. Okay, well, if I switch back to prograde, I may be able to adjust that a little bit. And you gotta remember the reason why this is moving when I'm maneuvering like that is that I do have RCS up. So it is changing my trajectory mildly, which is why that maneuver and uh, Right there, which is why that moves a little bit. Perfect, okay, so now here's what we do. <clears throat> You're learning a lot if you've never done this before. Because I'm on the outside, this is catching up and we're gonna be super freaking close here. Now, when we reach, See, now we're catching up to it because we're on the inside of it. If you're on the outside, it'll catch up to you. If you're on the inside, you'll catch up to it, uh, orbit-wise. So that'll be stupidly close when we get there. And what we're going to do is I want to face... You can see I have it set as my target, my speed. And what that means is I'm moving 72 meters a second uh, in relation to the the target. When I get closer, I want that down to like 0 0.10 optimally, but I need to point towards the target, which is what I'm doing right now. So this is the the target node, and we were gonna get a little closer, about right there. <clears throat> and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna bink, okay. Where is it? It's alpha over there. It's 4.2 kilometers away. So we're gonna point towards the target and we're gonna speed up a little bit. That's actually slowing us down. And now it's speeding us up. So we want to be moving towards the target. I'm going to go about 100 meters a second. Let's do 80. 80 is a lot better. All right, so you see <clears throat> we're getting closer. But now what we need to do is we need to point retrograde. And we're going to readjust. Is this... Whoops. Totally facing... No, the other way. The, the, the other, other way. Thank you. So you see how now it's like way over there and we're not quite moving towards it anymore. Uh, so now I'm gonna slow down. I'm gonna reduce my velocity to the target to as low as I can go. So about five meters a second, that's pretty good. Now we're gonna go back pointing towards the target again, which is way over there. Uh, no, more. Okay, <laughs> good, uh, right there. And now, it's, it's funny because I'm like upside down here, whatever, it all works. So we're gonna speed up again. About 80, and I'm at a point retrograde. I think you're, you're getting the hang of this, right? If, if, if you've never seen this before, this is how you do it without mech chip. I mean, this is a clunky way of doing it, but it's working. We have plenty of fuel. And remember, these are the Saber engines, so we can't switch them to air breathing when we get back into the atmosphere. So that's coming up on us quick. We're gonna slow down again. There we go. <clears throat> okay, you can kind of see it now, right? It's it's actually within reach. We can we can actually see what the heck it looks like from here. It's small, but it's we're getting closer. So now we point towards the target again. This time, we're not going to be going as fast. I don't want to be going as fast. And this is in relation to where it is in space at the current time, right? Oop, we're going to pass it because I can't maneuver quickly around. <sighs> too much. Too much. I went too fast. It was too greedy. Okay. Uh, retrograde. And what you'll notice is it'll go prograde now, so now we're moving towards the target. Good. Okay, so 12 meters a second is pretty good. Oh, it's just loading it in, even though we went flying past it. And we're gonna slow down. Uh, 
Yeah. Or three meters a second. Cool. In fact, I could probably... I mean, it's pretty close, right? It's pretty close. Uh, you know what? Let's face let's face retrograde again. Oh gosh, which which way is retrograde? Oh, oh geez. Oh, oh dear. Um, there it is. Let's kill my velocity to the target. Uh, perfect. See, and it's just like right over there. It's perfect. Uh, let's. Flip, so we're, oh gosh, okay, I need to, that way, okay, perfect. So I just kind of wanted the cargo bay a little bit in the sun, even though we have lights and everything. Perfect. So what what you'll notice is my orbit here matches that one now. So I've matched, matched trajectories, and I'm moving at 0, .0 or 0 0.1 meters a second towards the target. Uh, Jebediah is the one to go on EVA here. All right, let go, turn on your rockets. So we're just gonna float over gently to our cargo bay. We're going to open the container. And we're gonna take the Communitron. So, and we're gonna put all the rest of that stuff on here too, so good. Float over. Gently. Gently. All right. <clears throat> I could put this pretty much anywhere. <clears throat> I'm going to put it on the RCS tank. Whoa. Whoa. Just don't bump into it, Jeb. Okay. Attach. Okay. Need to get a little closer. Attach. Boom. Cool. Wow, he's quick at that. He's really quick. And I'm purposely staying pretty far away from it with my, my shuttle here because I don't, and this is more of a shuttle by the very meaning of the, you know, the term for it because it, it was shuttled up and will shuttle things back down compared to our, <coughs> our single stage door aircraft. So we're going to open container, get that, and we're going to float over. This is a very beautiful moment for Jeb. <laughs> 